video we can look at how to publish and subscribe to a, a cloud MQTT broker. Now in an earlier video I showed you how to set up a cloud MQTT broker and a few comments said that uh, I showed you how to publish but I didn't show you how to uh, receive messages from the from the broker. So I decided to do this video to show you a few methods of publishing and subscribing uh, to the MQTT broker, it's any broker in reality, not the just a cloud MQTT broker, uh, using a variety of tools. Now before you can do that you need to get some information about the broker. You need the, the server name, you need the username and password and you need the port number. Now here's a quick screenshot of the Cloud MQTT instance that I've got, and there's the server name M21 Cloud MQTT. There's my user, and there's my password. And you'll see a variety of ports. Um, this port is the standard port. This is uh, just using standard MQTT. This is using encrypted, and this one is using WebSockets and WebSockets that's encrypted. So depending on what uh, you're connecting to it, you'll need to connect to the appropriate port. Now to get that information you go to your cloud uh, MQTT instance and I'm going to be using this one and you just click on it here and it shows you all the details about it, it shows you the ports. So the first thing I'm going to show you is publishing and subscribing to the uh, standard port, the this unencrypted MQTT um, using the Mosquito Pub and Mosquito Sub uh, client tools and then we're going to be using a couple of Chrome extensions. One is the MQTT Lens tool and the other one is the, I think it's called MQTT Box uh, tool. We'll find that out when we when we come to it. It's a, a lot more developed than the MQTT Lens tool. We can only do basic publish and subscribe and unencrypted at that to an MQTT broker using the Lens tool. Now a few um, shortcuts that you might find useful because the Mosquito Pub and Sub tools require lots of typing and I don't like typing. I tend to use the copy and paste method so things like usernames and passwords, especially auto-generated one, they're quite difficult to type in and type in accurately so I just copy them and then you go onto the command line and you can either right click and paste it in or you can control uh, V to paste it in. I, th I think on Linux systems you have to use the right click to do it, uh, but it, it works okay on Windows, just a control V. There, it's in there. And what I've done as well is I've put them in together into a, a notepad file just to make it uh, quicker for me to do so. There's the sub one, and you can see here I'm publishing on sensor test sensor there's the username there's the password and there's the port number and that's the standard port for my installation and again for the publish tool again the only difference here is the fact that I'm publishing a message so let me just copy those and paste it into my command line and subscribe and then get the publish tool in my other command prompt and publish. And if I scroll that window out of the way, there, there it is. There's the message on. Let's do another message on off and there it appears on the on the left hand side so there we are we just published and subscribed to our MQTT um, broker instance okay that was how to publish to MQTT now how do you publish the secure MQTT well that uses a different port number and on my instance here it's using port 27363 uh, two, now what I need to um, use secure sockets now I need a certificate from the from the broker now the Cloud MQTT uses a public uh, certificate and that certificate is available and it's actually uh, integrated into all web browsers so Internet Explorer, Firefox, uh, Google Chrome etc. And how do I get a copy of that certificate? Well I could copy it from one of those browsers. 
Now those public root certificates are actually stored in a certificate store on, on your machine. Now on Linux they're stored in this folder here, etc. SSL um, search folder. This is on Linux um, Debian versions and Raspberry Pi is one of those. So if you go into this folder here you'll find a, a list of certificates. Also you'll find a, a certificate bundle. This is a bundle of all the root certificates uh, called CA certificates.crt and this is the file you actually need. And Windows stores the certificates in the registry, but you can copy this certificates file here, the CA certificates.crt. You could copy this over to your Windows machine, that's if you've got a, a version of Linux running somewhere on your network. Or alternatively, which is probably the easiest, you can go over to this URL here. This is the curl uh, website, and you can download a copy from there. Now, this copy there is not called CA certificates.crt. Dot CRT. It's actually called cacert.pem, but it makes no difference. You could rename it to cacertificates.crt if you wanted to, but you can just use it as it is, as cacert.pem. So if you download it, that's what you get. Now, then I go back to the command line and I tell it about it. So now we just change our command line here to... So there we are there, and if I just change that message now so it's publishing off, so we can see that it is the message and there's the a, a sub there so let's publish it and you can see the message came through so that's how to publish to secure uh, MQTT using the mosquito publish tool and if you're interested in finding more information about these CA uh, certificates or CRT files and the certificate bundles etc then I'm in the process of actually putting together a tutorial on that and I'll put it on the website and I'll put a link in the video description when it when it's done. Now we're going to look at the Chrome extensions. So the two Chrome extensions we're going to look at is MQTT Lens and MQTT Box and we'll start with MQTT Lens because it's probably the most popular one. Now with MQTT Lens the first thing you have to do is create a, a connection so you just add a new connection here. Now I've already got the connection configured so let me take a look at the settings. And you can see here I'm using TCP IP which is basically the standard MQTT. There's the broker name. Client ID is a random one. I just left it that. And there's my username and there's my password and there's my port number, standard port. So there's the connection, and it is actually connected. It's, it's, it's green, it's connected, and the screen over here shows you the connection for the Pi one, which is this one here, and the connection for the MQTT Cloud, which is the one further down. So I need to scroll down to use this one. So the topic I'm going to use is sensors, test sensor. That's what I'm going to subscribe to, and that's the one I'm going to publish on. and so we're going to publish on the same topic and this is our test message I've just got rid of the other connection because uh, it, it was interfering with this one I want to make it a bit clearer and let's just publish it and you can see here if you look underneath here you can see this is our message message from lens this is what we received and if I go back to the command you can see message from lens and if I go here and I publish another message, I'll publish again to the standard port and go back to back to our MQT lens. You can see there's a message come in there. So with this client we can publish and subscribe to MQTT. We can't use secure MQTT and we can't uh, use WebSockets so we can look at the next one which is the MQTT box which lets us use WebSockets so there it is there they take a bit of time before they initialize these clients again you can see I've already configured the client I was working on this the other day and we just select which client we want to use and I'm going to use this one here which is the MQTT sorry which is the MQT cloud client 
and you can see it's already connected there and let's add, have a look at the connection so it's called the test client one client ID now the protocol this time is secure web sockets there's the host I'm using TLS and it's a CA signed certificate it's a public certificate to use the name and password which is what we looked at before and you can see the port number here we tag it onto the end using a colon so it's the host name colon port number standard in TCP IP, TC, <laughs> TCP IP let's just go back to our MQTT cloud configuration here it is here you can see there's the port number for web sockets so we just save this and now we're going to publish to sensor sensor 2 we're going to subscribe to the same topic and now we're going to publish and there's the payload here and you can see it comes up straight away over here and if we go back to our you can see there's the message here so now we're going to look at using our Python client now with our Python client we can publish to standard MQTT we can publish to secure MQTT we can publish to uh, web sockets and we can publish to secure web sockets so we can do all four of those and we're going to look at um, how to do those using the a simple Python script so let's go through the script quickly before we run it now the main part is at the bottom and basically what we're going to do is we're going to connect to the broker and we're going to connect using basic MQTT over secure sockets layer uh, basic web sockets and web sockets uh, with secure sockets layer and the function that's going to do that is called test broker and we pass test broker the name of the broker and the port and as we go down here you can see I'm changing the port depending on the test so test broker is the main function that does all the work and it will actually report whether the test failed or whether it actually passed so we start off testing MQTT testing MQTT over SL etc and if we go up to the test broker function you can see here I've got a couple of flags and these flags uh, basically have we got sec secure sockets layer and are we using web sockets and depending on those it depends on uh, what tests we select and you can see here if I'm using secure sockets layer and not web sockets then I'm going to use secure MQTT and further down here if not secure sockets layer and not web sockets then I'm using basic MQTT you can see the test here is standard MQTT and then we go down to the connection once we've set everything up we try and connect and we connect either using um, basic MQTT MQTT over uh, secure sockets layer etc and if it if it works then we print out a su success message and if it doesn't work we print out a failure message now there is one thing in here um, some tests can't be run so some brokers don't support web sockets or they don't support web sockets with secure sockets layer and so for those we set the port to zero so this is a quite a standard script you can use it on on any broker I'm using it here on the cloud MQTT broker so let's run it and see what happens so first we test the basic one and it worked okay then we test secure sockets layer and that one worked okay and then we test web sockets and it tells me it doesn't support it and then we test secure web sockets and that one tested okay I want to go back to the script and what I forgot to mention is that I also put a, a publish in there so not only do I connect to the to the broker we also publish a message to the broker and we publish the basically the the test that we're actually conducting and if I subscribe to that broker using the mosquito sub tool then we can see those messages come in so I've already done that here you can see I'm subscribed to the broker so let me run the script again and it's finished and if we go back and look at the 
the subscribe you can see the messages came through so that's it the client the Python script um, for testing uh, MQTT MQTT over SSL web sockets and web sockets over SSL so that brings us to the end of the video if you've got any comments and leave them in the comment form below if you liked it then use the like button below and if you want to be notified of new videos to the channel you can always subscribe until next time goodbye